How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. We got most anticipating earnings for next week as well as two options plays um, that you can play on these stocks. So not many companies are reporting next week. And as we can see, we actually have Monday um, the day off. So we're going to be starting the next week on Tuesday and not many companies are reporting as we mentioned earlier. So we do have two in particular that we will be watching. And the first one is going to be Bed Bath & Beyond, which opens, uh, which reports their earnings Thursday before the market opens, um, as well as WD40 Thursday after the market closes. So those two stocks are really looking forward to. Um, other than that, not, nothing much is really happening in the market in terms of earning releases. So let's take a look at Bed Bath & Beyond stock. This stock is currently at... $14.65. And if we take a look at the charts, uh, this past month in November had a huge run up going from around, you know, $14 to highs of almost $24 per share. Uh, but as we can see, it did sell off and we're back at $14 per share. So kind of insane volatility with the stock. Uh, so it's been downtrending a little bit this past few weeks. So implied volatility is pretty high, and when implied volatility is high, what better option strategy is there than to sell options? So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, and if you take a look, uh, it's really at low levels, and it's really at a level where it was before the pandemic occurred. Um, it's been selling off a little bit this past year. So let's head over to the options chain. We're going to be selling some cash puts. A very tried and true strategy uh, and let's do an expiration either uh, probably the 14th of January as we can see high high premiums on these contracts which is very good for people like us who are selling options and selling options is the best strategy to play earnings just because of the premium being really inflated and it's just a very high chance of profit to to do so we can go pretty far down the strikes actually and something like a ten dollar cash here put is going to yield you roughly around a 2.4 percent return in just two weeks because remember we selected the january 14th expiration date uh and let's actually take a look at the premium for january 7th there's actually some really good premium you could sell a ten dollar cash here put for for the same week um, it's going to be a four day expiration contract and you're going to get a 1% return on that, uh, since you're receiving $10 of premium right here. So that's going to be some other, another good play. And as we can see here, 91 chance of profit, uh, cause this stock has to drop over $4 per share, uh, to, in order for you to start losing money. So that's going to be some options plays for bed, bath and beyond. Of course you could do, uh, if you're a bit riskier, you could increase the strikes and then you'll see more premium but i like the ten dollar strike in my opinion it's pretty safe uh 91 percent chance of profit uh, and i'm going to do the january 14th expiration date so next company is going to be wd40 and as we can see on the one year it's had quite a bit of sell-off from all-time highs of around 332 dollars per share and we're sitting almost around 80 dollars under the all-time highs so it's definitely sold off uh, and this is definitely a solid company as we can see on the charts uh, and it's also a great company for the long term it is a dividend paying stock which is very good if we do end up getting a sign on our cash gear puts now this stock is a bit more expensive so this is not going to be for everyone but what you can do is sell some like say 200 dollars cash gear puts for january 21st and this is going to be for bigger accounts and a safer trade because uh, we're only going to be receiving 155 dollars of premium for selling this cash gear put but very, very high chance of profit at 890%. Uh, and we don't mind owning shares at $200 per share if we do get assigned. So that's going to be a strategy for bigger accounts. Now, a strategy for smaller accounts is going to be the put credit spread. And because it's a put credit spread, maybe do like a $220 strike. Uh, or we could do, no, we'll do the two, $200 strike and then sell... We're going to sell the $200 strike and then buy the $195, uh, just like this. And it's going to be a put credit spread. So essentially, 
uh, if we take a look at the profit and loss charts, it's actually going to give us a pretty decent return. We're putting down $500 of collateral uh, to make $43, which is rough, a little under a 10% return. It's around an 8 to 9% return on your capital because of uh, the capital we're putting up. So it's a pretty nice return, and as long as the stock stays above our strike prices, which is $200, uh, same as the cash shared put trade we mentioned earlier, uh, then you're going to be making that sweet 10% return. So those are two stocks that we're really watching forward to for next week for earnings, uh, as well as some potential options plays that you guys should do on these stocks. Thanks for watching.